Hello, my name is Alex. The purpose of this lab is to use Newton's second law and the computational model in order to predict a black hole's mass given the initial conditions. In order to do this, we had to take concepts we learned from class and apply them to our own bPython code. Initially, we were told that there is a star orbiting a black hole. We were then given the star's mass, which is 1.989 times 10 to the 30th kilograms, the time step, which is 86,400 seconds, or one Earth day, and we were given the star's position at each time step found on a CSV file downloaded from WebAssign. We are also given the black hole's position, which is 2 times e to the 10th, uh, negative 4 e to the 10th, 0 meters. Using this data, I found the mass of the black hole to be 2.222 e to the 31 kilograms. And here's how I did it. Before we can write our code, there are some principles we need to know. First of all, because our system is a star and the black hole is the force acting upon the star, the net force is equal to dp over dt. And this is found by taking the mass times the change in velocity over the change in time. And we can further break this down into d over dt times the magnitude of p times p hat, shown here. And then this becomes d times magnitude of p over dt times p hat plus magnitude of p times dp hat over dt here, which is simply dp over dt parallel plus dp over dt perpendicular. We also need to know Newton's fundamental law of gravitation, which is the magnitude of fg is equal to big G times mass times mass 2 divided by the distance squared. Big G is the universal gravity constant, 6.7 times 10 to the negative 11. M1 is the mass of the star and M2 is the mass of the black hole. And this is what we were trying to find as our end product. And R is the distance between the star and the black hole. And now that we have these principles, we can write our code. For my code, the mass of the star and the change in time are given to me as the initial conditions. Now from our data, we are able to calculate the velocity. See here. Python extracts the position data from our CSV file and uses this to calculate the x and y components of the velocity. Now, once we find the initial and final velocities, we are able to find the change in velocity. And in order to find the change in momentum, we need to multiply the change in velocity by the star's mass. Seen here. From here, we are able to calculate the first important piece of data, dp, dt. And this is found by finding delta p divided by the delta t. This is the change in momentum by change in time. And now I can set fnet equal to dp dt. From here, I am able to calculate the parallel and perpendicular components of the net force. First, p hat. This is equal to the initial momentum divided by the magnitude of the initial momentum. Then d mag dt is equal to the magnitude of the final momentum minus the initial momentum divided by delta t. And then dp dt parallel is equal to d mag p dt times p hat, which is simply the net force in the parallel direction, f net parallel. And then I set f net underscore par equal to dp dt par. Because f net is equal to f net parallel plus f net perpendicular, and we know what f net and f net parallel are, we can set up the equation dp dt perpendicular is equal to dp dt minus dp dt parallel, which is equal to f net perpendicular. And we have to use this because in the perpendicular equation, m times v squared over r, we do not know what r is. Now that I have all of my force equations written, I need to write an equation solving for the mass of the black hole. I do this by manipulating Newton's gravitational law shown earlier. We know g constant and the position of the black hole given from WebAssign. 
we find the R of by subtracting the position of the black hole minus the star's position. And then we solve for the mass of the black hole by the magnitude of the force times magnitude of distance between the star and black hole squared divided by the gravitational constant times the star's mass. And then when we write the line, print black hole dot m, and we run the code, the mass of the black hole will show up. When we hit run module, this is the graph that we get. The yellow arrows will net force, the blue arrow is the force in the perpendicular direction, and the black arrow is the force in the parallel direction. The mass of the black hole is 2.22 times 10 to the 31 kilograms, which is correct when we enter it into WebAssign. And this is shown here. So what does it mean? Discuss how Fnet perpendicular, Fnet parallel, and Fnet are different from DP over DT perpendicular, DP over DT parallel, and DP over DT. From Newton's second law, Fnet is equal to DP over DT. However, they are just numerically equal. Although they are the same value, the relationship is different. Fnet is actually the force that is causing the change in momentum over time. So Fnet perpendicular is the force causing the perpendicular change in momentum over time. Fnet parallel is the force causing the change in momentum in the parallel direction. And Fnet is just the force causing the change in momentum over time. So what if? Imagine the black hole whose mass you found was removed and a different black hole was placed in the same location. Assume the motion of the observed star remains unchanged and is affected only by the gravitational force of the new black hole. Would I be able to tell the difference? In other words, is it possible for me to find a value for the mass of the new black hole that is different from the mass I found for the original one? If the motion of the star remain unchanged, this would mean that the force would remain the same, and I would not be able to tell the difference. If the motion is the same, this means the black hole mass is also the same. The only way to find a different mass of the black hole is if the motion of the star is changed. If there are new positions of motion, then it is possible to find a new mass of the black hole. Thank you. Initially, we are told that there is a star orbiting a black hole. We are then given the star's mass, which is 1.989 times 10 to the 30th kilograms, the time step, which is 86,400 seconds, or one Earth day, and we are given the star's position at each time step found on a CSV file downloaded from WebAssign. We are also given the black hole's position, which is 2 times e to the 10th, negative uh, 4 e to the 10 0 meters. Using this data I found the mass of the black hole to be 2.222 e to the 31 kilograms. And here's how I did it. 